welcome back. Thanks for coming back. This is part six, and we're going to just talk a little bit about the book before we get into actual playing. I promise, next video we're going to do some playing. But um, before we do that, this, this stuff we talked about in the last video with the terms and some of the knowledge in this video kind of helps us just be prepared to start really learning and understanding stuff. Um, and, and the things we want to talk about in this one are, are the book itself. So um, take a look at your book. Um, go ahead and turn to page six and look at the top of the page. You'll notice that on the top of the page there are these boxes. And if you go ahead and look throughout the book, you'll notice that often throughout the book there are these different colored boxes at the top of the, of the page with different terms and, and, and knowledge on there. So I'm going to explain those just a little bit so it'll help you be prepared to learn real quick. Um, the first thing is yellow boxes. Yellow boxes, whenever there's a yellow box at the top of the page, it's going to be a new note. Okay, so it's going to tell you on the new notes the name of the note. It's going to show you where it's at on the staff. And it's going to show you how to play or what fingering to use. And we'll talk about fingering and fingering charts on the next video. So really important that you understand all three of those things about every note. The name of the note, which is a letter, right? A, B, C, D, E, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. One of those <laughs> letters. Um, where it's at on the staff. Which line or space. And then what buttons to push to play. Every one of those yellow boxes is going to tell you that about the notes that are in there. So yellow boxes, new notes. Um, next, there's going to be green boxes. And green boxes are going to be time signatures and key signatures. We haven't really talked about key signatures yet. We'll do that. Time signatures, like in the last video, we talked about that 4-4. That's a time signature. And there'll be other ones that we'll learn. And they'll be in green boxes at the top of the page. Um, then there's going to be blue boxes. And those are going to be new rhythms. Like, like maybe it's whole notes or maybe it's quarter notes or half notes or different types of notes. And then maybe also there's going to be uh, slurs and ties and other things that change the rhythm of the music. And those are all going to be in blue boxes. And then there's going to be red and purple boxes and those are going to be new terms, um, new, new concepts that you need to learn that are not any of the other things we just talked about. Okay, so, so those are the top of the page. And then on the exercises themselves, they'll have a highlighted section of that new thing. Let's say, if you look at number six, you'll see several different highlighted things on, on number six. And they're going to be in different colors. So when you see that highlighted thing, you, that, let's say it's yellow. Oh, that, then you know it's a new note. If you look to the top of the page, it'll, it'll tell you what that note is. Or if it's a blue, if it's blue highlighted, you're gonna know. Well, that's a new rhythm. You look up, find the blue box, and they'll explain it. A lot of times in those boxes, it has definitions and a little bit more information than they could fit on the actual exercise. So it's important that you understand that. So that if you have questions as you're learning through this book, you can just look up to the top and find where it's at, and um, and use your resources and, and learn a lot. So um, just some things about that color coding that's important throughout this book. Go ahead and look throughout the book. Um, turn the pages, um, find things that look interesting, find songs. Uh, the, 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 the exercises are titled, so find some of the titles of things that you might know how to play or know how the rhythm goes, um, and maybe some that maybe you're looking forward to playing and excited to learn how to, how to do. So look through the book, um, and then this is a good point, again, to review anything in this video or the last videos and make sure you're ready for, the, for, for moving on. So... Uh, join us on our next video. We're going to actually be playing. We'll be talking about the fingering chart, we'll talk about how to actually play your instrument. Um, and um, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to get fun and start playing some new things. So join me on the next one.